Hey guys. Hey, what's up you guys? Ghost with the Most here, and today we are gonna be swatching the handbook for the recently deceased eyeshadow palette. So this eyeshadow palette is from Hot Topic. It'll run you about $17 if you wanna grab one for yourself. And from what research I have done, I think it debuted last year in 2018 around Halloween time and was so popular and sold out so fast that they decided to bring it back this year. Nobody knew that they were gonna be bringing it back because I've seen these go for like really, really incredibly expensive on Poshmark and like eBay and stuff because uh, so many people like coveted it and wanted to get it and they were limited edition, so everyone thought. But I was in Hot Topic around August, I think, or maybe beginning of September, at some point where it was like, I was already full swing in spooky season, but not everywhere else was. And I found a couple in my local shop and was stoked to be able to pick one up because I was considering purchasing one from Poshmark for more expensive than $17 and like couldn't bring myself to do it and I'm really glad that I didn't because I found this brand new. So these are back. I do not know if they ever came back online or if they are still in stock anywhere but if you can go ahead and grab yourself one because it is a beautiful palette. If anything it is a great prop to use especially if you are any of the characters from Beetlejuice for Halloween such as myself. I thought it would be fun to do the palette swatches and review while in the Beetlejuice makeup. However, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this jacket because one, it does not fit very well, and two, it's a little too warm for that. So I'll be right back. All right, now that that's out of the way and I look like, I don't even know, I got my big hair going on cause it's tased. First off, this is what the outside of the palette looks like and then on the side you can tell it's designed to look like a book and then on the back it says inspired by the Warner Brothers classic this collection is sure to complement all skin tones and deliver lasting pigment apply each color alone or blend shades to create a signature look layer for a bolder look or sweep lightly for a hint of color and honestly, I'm not actually sure if this is part of a larger entire Beetlejuice makeup collection or if it was just the one product because I have seen some of these kind of movie themed makeup items. Some just have the one off eyeshadow palette from Hot Topic and there are some like the Clueless collection where it had the eyeshadow palette with the matching brush as well as a lipstick trio and like a mug randomly. If you have any interest, I did a uh, makeup collection review for that a few months ago on my channel and then it's lined with the classic Tim Burton e black and white stripes and then you open it up and it has a beautiful mirror say hi and of course the actual eyeshadow shades and the whole inside as well is designed with the classic Tim Burton aesthetic. Normally I would do some kind of eyeshadow look to go along with it to show some of the shades in action, but I don't think we quite have enough real estate to be able to do that. Also like Loki trying not to stain the whole palette because like my hands are still a little bit dirty from this mess which if you have any interest in this look I did a special effects tutorial. I also filmed it like a little while ago so the makeup's already kind of fallen apart. It's I look like a hot mess. It's fine. Why do I keep reverting to a country accent? Who knows? So we have a bunch of different shades all in a very fun I think kind of funky somewhat new unique color palette and they all have names that are somewhat related to the film which is very fun. Here we have the eyeshadow palette up close and personal and you flip that up. First we are going in with this white shade which is called Afterlife and that is a nice shimmery white shade. Very pretty. I don't think I actually have any eyeshadows too similar to this but it does also kind of give me the same vibes as the sugar pill edward scissorhands palette did this next one is the kind of beigey nude in juno that one came out a little chunky so we'll go ahead and 
Oh, and it wiped like all of it off. So there's a second coat of that. It's very similar to my actual skin tone, so that would be a nice base color for my eyes. And then we have this orange, which is called Dante's Inferno. And that's a beautiful orange color. I wish I had this for a tutorial I filmed. One thing I am already noticing about the shadows, they go on very easily and fairly pigmented, but they do come out a little bit chunky, so you have to do a second pass through to make sure that they don't have random pigment chunks throughout them. Next, we're gonna go in with this bright red, which is in the shade Lydia. And that is a beautiful red. It's almost, uh, it's not quite an orangey red, but it's close. Like it's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's pretty. Oh, pff, just get my leg out of there, whoops. Next, we're gonna go in with this bright green shade, which is called Beetlejuice. Ooh, that's a pretty green. I will most likely get a lot of use out of that. I actually really like green eyeshadow and it tends to work for me because my hair is naturally red. Um, plus I love kind of more neon-y green colors. That would have also been a perfect color to use with my actual Beetlejuice special effects. Maybe we'll do a glam Beetlejuice look. Next we're gonna go in with this darker green which is in the shade Miss Argentina. And that's another pretty green shade. It looks very similar to Miss Argentina from the movie's skin tone, so it's very fitting. This is, looks like a shimmery kind of rose goldish brown. Ooh. Okay, on the skin, it's definitely more. My mind is blanking. I have no idea how I would explain that, but that might be one of my favorite colors so far. That is beautiful, a nice shimmer shade. Next, we're going to go in with this kind of greenish, darker blue in Bio Exorcist. Ooh. All right, on the skin, it is just more of a tealish blue, but it is a beautiful shade. Next, we're gonna go in with this purple, which I have swatched, but honestly kind of don't totally remember what it looks like. And this is the shade Dark Room. Ooh, okay. Just a basic purple. You know, it's pretty, fairly basic. I probably have another like four eyeshadows in a very similar color. Next, we have this darker shimmery purple in It's Showtime. And that's a pretty darker purple. That actually would have been a really good shade for something else I needed too. Ugh. Next, we're gonna go in with this silvery shade in Sandworm. Ooh, okay. A very pretty silvery shade, but I'm also glad that it's called sandworm because um, those are, if you don't know, that's what the like giant sandworms in Beetlejuice are. Like when they open the house after they're dead and there's like the giant sand dunes and those creepy worms. And I've made references to those several times and like people have no idea what I'm talking about when I say sandworms. So I'm glad that that's what the shade is called because I'm not crazy, that is what they're called. And last but not least, we are gonna go in with this black in the shade Strange and Unusual. Oh, um. Or maybe it's more of a gray as opposed to black, a lighter gray. It looks very black in person, not even totally on camera. All right, well, it's a dark gray, but it's a pretty color. It's almost kind of charcoal-ish. And so this is what both of the arms look like. Like that's the swatches for all of the colors. Sorry, I feel like showing my wrists. I feel like Miss Argentina talking about her little accident. Honestly, I would say that these are really, really, really pretty colors. There are definitely some more unique ones. I'd say my favorites are definitely Dante's Inferno, 
Lydia and Beetlejuice, and then uh, Shrunken Head and Bio Exorcist. Sandworm's also pretty, but I'm a huge fan of kind of celestial inspired colors, so I have a couple other silvers. So it's not necessarily unique, it's just really pretty. Whereas I think kind of those four or five that I named are very pretty. So like these four and then Dante's Inferno were supreme. I think honestly kind of the color palette like they a lot of them go together so you could probably use the palette and just create like one whole complete cohesive look and it would look really really nice. Those were the swatches for all of the shades in the handbook for the recently deceased palette by Hot Topic. I would definitely recommend getting your hands on I was gonna say a copy because I feel like it looks like a book but uh no go ahead and get your hands on one of these palettes if you are able to. I have high hopes that since it's been so well uh, at least uh, okay last year I knew it like sold really really well and this year I don't feel like I didn't see any marketing or anything for it this year and like I had no idea that it was coming out again this year except for the fact that I accidentally stumbled across it in an actual Hot Topic location which like honestly I never actually go in in person anymore it was just like an accidental by chance for and giggles so like no I feel like most people who used to be super into Hot Topic like nobody goes in person anymore because it's just like the funky Disney Funko Pop store now but I happened to find it by chance I didn't hear about it from anybody online this year so maybe the popularity wave is dead but I do have hopes that if you weren't able to snag it this year that they will bring it back next year and potentially just make it a regular Halloween item if not make it more of a have a uh, moss falling off um make it more of a permanent collection like with their black heart beauty kind of stuff i think that the colors are beautiful they are some great shades and some kind of just you know average but still funkier like i wouldn't say any of the shades in here are necessarily like run of the mill except for maybe Juno and Darkroom and It's Showtime. Those are kind of more of the basic ones if I had to label any, but they are still more uh, fun and quirky and out of the box colors, which are especially fun to have all in one palette instead of like a ton of different single eyeshadows or like one funky color and a whole palette of like neutrals and normal colors you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you aren't already at what is love is the weapon. That is where I give most of my YouTube updates and if you aren't already following me you may not know that I am doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers so go ahead and subscribe and give a like or a share for this video to help that happen a little bit faster. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I had a blast hanging out with y'all. Peace.